guys welcome back to enigma 77 reviews i'm sorry if you hear any screaming i can't do anything about it and um well if i don't eat this it's gonna melt so guys i have to admit this is my second attempt of filming this video and i am so so sorry what happened was i marathon filmed um a lot of the packages that i got earlier on in the week sometimes it's a good idea to do that sometimes it isn't and what happened is when i was taking them all off from the camera in stages to the computer there was one left over floating around and i thought oh i've already got that so i deleted it and then when i come to do all my rendering editing i realized that there was a big chunk of the video missing and it was the the main part and it was for kate's clothing guys so there's no packaging because I have already opened it. But what I'm going to do now is just show you a snippet of me opening it so you can see that I'm not crapping about it. I did actually open it originally and then I, I deleted. I deleted, nobody else, me. So there you go. So this is what it was here. So you can see that I'm actually opening the package and... Um, I was super excited because I love Kate's clothing. It was the buy one, get one free, which is the bog off deal. If you don't know what that is, I will put all the information down below in the link box. Link box? What was that I just said? Link box below. That was it. Link box below. And um, basically, you can buy one and get one free. So I'm going to start all over again to explain what that actually means. So guys... The items I'm going to show you today are actually hanging up behind me. I will take them down so you can see. But it was buy one, get one free. They were both $24.99. Now, the reason I bought both at the same price is because if you were to buy a $24.99 item and a £9.99 item, you will get the cheapest item free. So I would have got the $9.99 item for free. Now, I did want two more items, but they were $14.99. But I knew if I put them together with that, I would have got the two $14.99 items free, which is fantastic. Do you know what I mean? It's free. But I wanted to get the top here free. So I knew that it could probably cost me more if I did it that way than just paying another, another postage. So I haven't got the two items at the minute. I decided not to get them in the end. Um, why? Because I don't know. I just go through these phases. So I did pick up these. So I got one and I got one free. But they were $24.99 each. One is a necessary evil item. One is a Killstar item. Now the Killstar item, I did see on Killstar for 20... I think it might have been either £27 or £28. When it first came out, I actually wanted to buy that item. Because I love cold shoulder tops. And I just love anything that's high necked. So I was going to get it. And then I thought, hmm, 20 $27.99 is quite a lot for that kind of top, but now I know why. So I'm going to grab that first, guys, so you get to see what I'm talking about. So I have unpackaged it already. It was packaged well. It was in a Killstar bag. I do still have the Killstar bag. Um, it's in the kitchen, actually. Um, but it did come in that, that Killstar bag. And this is the item of clothing. I have done a try-on already, guys. So that will come on at the end, so you get to see what it looks like. I do have different hair, so you may get a little bit confused. But I have ironed it. Now, I haven't washed it. And the reason I haven't washed it is because I keep the tags on. I keep my tags on until I am ready to wear them out, out officially. If they're still in my wardrobe and then I decide I don't like it anymore, I will just sell it either on Depop or eBay or anywhere else. I manage to sell it marketplace. So this is I am the Night Halter Top. I got a size 16, guys. Normal kind of label inside there and at the back it states you will be too much for some people Those aren't your people. I think you find out in life who your people are and they're the ones that stay genuine and true and um, I found my people. Well, I hope I have <laughs> and I hope that they stay my people So that is the label. I love the little quotations that come on Killstar clothing um, and I do keep all my um, all these, I love them. I will be putting them on my pin board and so forth. So it's a high neck, halter neck kind of. When it's on, guys, it actually does look like a cold shoulder top. The difference is it's more of a halter neck style. So it's got this beautiful lace that goes around the trim. And then there's two little buttons. They are quite easy to get on and off. 
usually for me but because i've got nails on i did struggle a little bit getting them in and out and fastening them but i still got there it's got this um le mesh kind of moon in the front now i thought that you maybe see some booby clue cleavage kind of thing but you don't actually see that much looking down you probably see but looking ahead looking towards you don't really see the material on this guys i've got to say is what i'd call quality like really quality it's very very thick material it's very very stretchy it's quite a warm material actually guys and it sits really nicely on the hips it's quite like it don't cover my my bone but it does just sit nicely on the 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 lumber of my back all the way around it covers my tum my mum tum so i'm happy about that and the sleeves as well have that lace effect on the front and the, the, the actually i always struggle with this kind of top for the sense that if it's not elasticated sometimes i struggle because i've got big arms getting it on to fit comfortably now this actually it's not too tight it's actually quite nice fit and i don't know if that's because i went for a size 16 if I work for a size 14, I'm not too sure that I'd get my arm in this comfortably. It has a little bit of give, but it doesn't have a lot of give. So apart from that, it is actually really stretchy, guys. So I could have actually got a size 14 in this and it would have fit me a little bit more snugly. It's quite loose on me and it does show, but it's still really, really nice. And I'm up and down with my sizes, guys. So let me see what the material is because i did have a look last time what the material was and i was like oh okay so this is actually 60 percent radon rayon sorry radon <laughs> glasses i would never actually heard of rayon before so mm, that might be why it's real nice quality 35 percent nylon and it's five percent elastane now i do find that five percent elastane is actually quite elastic it's not that stretchy but it's stretchy enough so $24.99 guys, this is still on there, or it was when I looked last, but for, for buy one get one free, this is a really nice item to have in there. They do actually do dark in love, is it dark love or dark in love? They do necessary evil, they do um, kill star, they also do punk rave on there, they do quiet footwear on there, they do quite a lot, I think they do a little bit of alchemy jewellery on there. The clearance sale is amazing, guys. You want to go and have a look at what they do. You won't be disappointed. Um, I like what I got. I think sometimes it depends on your material as well. I do like I do like Kill Stars, you know. I just don't try and dive in it too much because it can be like what I call the high-end price tag of clothing. Um, but I do like Necessary Evil as well. I like Necessary Evil style. I like the way it's um, it's giving and so forth. Some Kill Star are not that forgiving with their sizes. So that was that one, guys. So I have tried it on. You get to see what it looks like at the end. What do you wear with this kind of thing? I'm a bit confused to what to actually wear with this. I do have a pair of leggings that are quite thick like this for Mark Suspensers. And they actually have this lace detail in the, the leg of them. So I think them two would go quite nice together. and Possibly with a nice belt or a corset belt in between to break it up. Other than that, I'd probably wear my long witchy skirts with them. Because I have got quite a lot of long black flowy skirts. So that was that one, guys. So I love that. So thank you so much. Um... I also got these in my Kate's clothing because I spent over £20. She put in these little post, post, post note in and it says, Note today, Satan. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm glad about these. I've never had them before. Um, so, I did ask if she could put them in for me. Two minutes, guys. Have a sip. Oh. Really sorry about the racket, guys. None of my kids, obviously. So I put she put them in for me, so I'm really glad she did. So thank you for that, home. Right, so the next item was a necessary evil. Guys, I love this dress. I've got to tell you, I love it. I love I love how I, how I felt wearing it. Now, I, usually, you know, I might start doing my try-ons first. I don't know, because we do the unboxing together. But when you've done a try-on, then you're coming back and doing it. it it's, it's better, because you know what it feels like. Oh, now this... Is the necessary evil dress um i like the fact that it's ruched at the breast here it just gives that illusion that it's i don't know like a cleavaged illusion when you've got it on and not just a flat scowl neck i do love this 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 design on it i have got it on in the tightest one guys that's that's fine for me i probably would have gone one up as well 
but you can't because them two are just actually designs they're not actually a whole so i have got them on the tightest ones it cinches you in a little bit and that's why i like this effect the only problem is if i wanted to wear a corset under like an underbust corset you can't because this would be very uncomfortable very uncomfortable under your corset so that's the only downfall to this but a plain dress like this would be great for using under um, a corset now at the back it is actually corseted so it's got this lace effect that lace this um yeah lace effect here and you can tighten it just to bring it in at the breast and it does actually cinch you in a bit more now i tried it at the the largest side and then i got my husband to cinch it in a bit and you know what it's really really nice the material's not as thick as the kill star material i will say but it's not sheer i thought it might be sheer now it looks sheer when i look at it like this but i can't actually see my rings through it just the shape of my rings so it's not as sheer as some materials i've bought I do like Necessary Evil. I love how this fits. I love how it, it feels on. I love everything about it. I like the length as well, guys. So it actually goes a bit like my calf. Now, I actually wear these with my Demonia um, sandal shoes. Looks really nice. These actually look nice with my actual Demonia sandals as well. And I think anything wedgy or platform would look really nice with this. It's quite similar like a like a skater style at uh, shall i cut that no skater style kind of dress it does flow out at the bottom i wouldn't wear a petticoat underneath this guys you could i suppose that i wouldn't i like it as it is it is really really pretty it irons quite nicely as well guys sometimes you get certain material like this that you'll iron it and then it'll crease again it does crease easily i will say that now as you can see it's only been hung up my wardrobe and when you finally get to see my wardrobe you will understand why it's looking creased already so that's the only problem um with this kind of material it does crease that easily now i will say this has been in the wardrobe next to it can you see it has creased a little bit but not as much as this one so that is my two um clothing from um kate's clothing guys i absolutely love the bog off deal and she probably thinks she only buys when it's the bog off deal i do because i really do like to get my money's worth out of items i'm a little bit thrifty in that way sometimes i can go away with myself and, and forget the thrifty part of shopping but um at the minute obviously i'm trying to be as thrifty as i possibly can and get more for my money i think these are beautiful i am actually going to go on killstar later and see if they've got any of the others like this now i know what this is like i know that it's worth its price tag and i will buy lots more necessary evil um punk rave i'm not i'm not a great fan of punk rave because the clothes that i did buy even though they're extra large don't fit me as as comfortably as i'd have liked them to dark and love i love the fittings um I mean, some people have said that their fittings are a bit crazy as well, but what I got from them actually fits quite nicely. So that is that, guys. That is my Kate's clothing buy one, get one free deal. Like I said, if you were to buy two items at £24 or £25 and then you put two £15 items in there, you wouldn't get them the £24.99 ones for free. You would get the, the cheaper ones for free. So um, sometimes it works out good if you just, I mean, I just bought them and paid the postage, which is something like 3 99 It's not that expensive. I also get points for when I buy from Kate's Clothing because I do review her items. So she just put points on my account. I'm saving them points up so I can get something completely crazy from her shop, the actual shop, not the buy one, get one free. Although if I see something on there and I know I can get two, I probably will. God, I'm so thrifty. Right, guys, before I wrap this up, and you can watch the try on i've had this delivered today um and this is just a random thing now the moon and stars actually she, she actually said that i needed a chocolate bar on this company let me just take it out and um bless her i was like oh what you like so it was called feel recognized and it's on instagram guys and it says or recognize make your statement it's actually got my name on the back oh it says you have been recognized know that you are hugely valued and appreciated from the moon and stars keep doing what you're doing that's the card they put <laughs> 
this is the chocolate bar I asked for because I'm absolutely obsessed with Oreos. So, and I haven't got any munchies in. So I'm so glad that this has come today. It's kind of given me a little bit of a perk. And that is the idea of this, feel recognised. You can like recommend somebody. I'm, I'm going to go back on there and do the same back and see if I should get one. But um, thank you, Aisha, for that. It's um, It came at the right time. You put a little ribbon on there and it's called Recognised. So that's on... Um, that's on Instagram, guys. Um, I am following them. So I'll put that link in the link box if you want to go and have a look and see. It's really, really nice. You can nominate people to get free chocolate. And I just thought, oh, that was really sweet. <laughs> so there you go. All right. Get, oh, it's actually got on here um, at recognised store and it's hashtag weekly recognition. There you go. And that's what it looks like. And that's what it looks like behind. And it's real chocolate. Um, um. It's going in the fridge. I'll eat that later on tonight while I'm watching movies. All right, guys, stay to the end. Have a look at the try on. Pop your comments on below. Tell me what you think. Have you tried the Necessary Evil or the um, Killstar top and dress? Let me know. Tell me what you think about it. And I will see you on the next bog off deal, whatever that might be. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell if you want to see any more of these videos. And I've got to say, before I wrap this up, Oh my God, thank you so, so much to everybody who subscribed to my channel. I hit my 500 milestone. It's been 16 months. It's been a long 16 months. I have slogged my backside off on this channel. I kind of went in full force on my channel. I bought my equipment before I even made a decent video. <laughs> and if you ever look back to my first videos, I'm actually in my bedroom for about a week and then I end up with all the equipment. Um, but yeah, it's been a long slog and I appreciate my family that I've got now. I've got a beauty family and I've got an alternative family. Um, sometimes they work together, sometimes they don't. But I love all of them. And I thank you to all your new subscribers. Welcome aboard. And we've got giveaways going at the minute. Go ahead and check them out. There is quite a few. The 500 subscriber one ends in another week. So you've got a week to jump on that, go into my playlist. All my giveaways are on there ones that are closed, ones that are still open. And I've got a gothic giveaway as well for you gothic lovelies. All right, guys, take care of yourself and I'll see you on the next one. Wait till the end. Bye for now. Okay, guys, this is the Killstar top. You can see that I've got my bra on because I can't be bothered going finding the clear strap. But it fits absolutely snugly. It's, it's lovely. The material is so giving. It's quite a thick material as well, so it's not transparent. It's so thick material. It's really nice material, actually. It makes me think that if all the tops that they're selling at £27 are like this, they are definitely worth the price tag of that. For that reason, I probably will buy some more from Killstar because this is lovely. So as you can see, you've got the crescent moon thing here. You can barely see my cleavage, to be honest with you guys, the way it, it falls down. You can only slightly see it, but then you've got the cold shoulder I absolutely love. And the fact that it's halter neck doesn't really make any difference. I mean, it's nice. I like how it's high up. It's quite comfortable. It's not. The only thing I, I, that I did do is the straps, you know, the tag things to hang up and the hanger, they kept falling out or falling under. So I have cut them out. So I would probably just have to hang it over the hanger with the halter neck. But here's the back, guys. So as you can see, there's plenty of room in it. If I move it all the way down, my, my bra is still not showing. Hang on. There we go. There you go. So that's what it looks like at the back. And that's what it looks like at the side and then the front. So for £24.99, I am super, super happy. And I think I paid for this one and got the dress free. So this is what it looks like, guys. Tell me what you think. I love it. I absolutely love it. This is going to be one of them tops that I reach for a lot. Um, now, I have ironed it, guys, and it is easy to iron. I didn't wash it. Another reason I haven't washed it is, as you can tell, I keep the, the tags on all my clothes until I officially wear them out, and then I take the tag off, and I keep all my tags anyway. But I do that just in case, for any reason, I fall out of love with this, and I think, no, I'm never going to wear it. I get bigger, I get smaller, it's too small. I can sell it on, and it's worth the price tag is on it's kind of worth more than just a second hand top but as you can see it is so nice on i love it i like the fact that it it's quite long as well i'm glad i got this size i think if i got a large they probably would have fit a little bit more tighter 
but I don't think it would have been as long. Don't mind the wig thing, guys. I did have my purple wig on, but I'm sweating cobbler, so I've put this one on. So this is the first one, guys. I'm going to go and try the dress on next. So back in a jiffy. But yeah, I love it. I don't know, but the whole strap thing puts me off. But if I was to just take my straps off, just, just say for instance, that's what it'd look like without the straps, guys. So it does look nicer without seeing your bra strap on it, I will admit. Um, I'm thinking of getting one of them bras. That's a it's a low bra, and the straps can crisscross down. And it, I don't know how it works, but because I'm so big chested, I need the support, and that's why I need this here. But if I can get the bra that has the clay straps, which I do have, I have about fifteen of them. You won't see this. It'll just you still see the strap, but you won't see it as visible as the the black. Right, I'll go try the dress on. Back in a jiffy, guys. Okay, guys. So this is the dress. Don't worry about the hair. <laughs> um, it's really, really nice actually. Um, I like the fact that you can fasten it at the front, so you can either have this tight or loose. I've got it on the, the tightest fitting, just so I can get that pull in. Um, I have got the corset belt, but I don't think you could actually wear it with this because then you'd hide all this, this prettiness that I bought it for this. I liked this, this is what drew me to the actual dress. And the fact that it is fast at the back as well, so you can tighten that up, guys. As you can see at the minute, the tags are out because obviously I've kept these on, so it's pulling the label out. But I'd probably pull it up, a little, pull my bra down a little bit further, and then pull that up so you're not seeing the bra. Worn my um, demonias for now, but you'd wear anything with these guys. This dress, I mean, I'd probably wear my boots as well with this. It, I think it is a multi-purpose dress. Obviously, I don't really wear heels anymore now, unless they're platformed and they've got like security so I don't fall over. Um, if I was to go out on a night out, I'd probably wear these shoes more than anything because one, they're comfortable. Two, it kind of goes with it. Um, I'd probably wear more like a grey charcoal makeup or maybe my grey wig rather than this wig. Or I just have my natural hair down depending on if I've got any greys. But um, yeah, this is Kate's clothing, the buy one, get one free. I absolutely love these two items. I'm so glad I made the purchase. I do like this. Um, I like. I just like the whole thing. I just like everything about it. It's nice. I'm now, it is quite figure hugging here, which is usually my, I don't really like figure hugging dresses, but we are the size we are. If you're small, medium, big, does it really matter as long as you're wearing something that you like? I don't want to fit in anybody's box. I fit in my box. And if I've got a few lumps and bumps, I'm human, I'm real. It doesn't bother me that much. I mean, I do like the fact that this, the, the waist trimmers do pull me in a bit. If I didn't have these on, I'd probably be a little bit, <sighs> because I do not have a stance, guys. I, I, as I, because I'm crooked, I tend to just lean when I stand upright. I'm terrible. Instead of bringing myself up like this, the way you're supposed to, obviously when you lift up, everything lifts up with you. When you slouch, everything slouches with you. So, <laughs> posture. And I think wearing something like this, I'd probably keep my posture in. Now, again, if I wanted to wear an underbust bass with this, it's a shame because you're going to miss all this out. And then you're going to have that kind of extra kind of, sticking in you kind of thing but i like it what do you think guys 24.99 obviously it was buy one get one free i got this free i am not going to complain um i find it as well guys because it's quite creased again the reason why i don't wash it is because if i change my mind and i don't want it and i sell it or when i do finally wear it then i'll take off the label and so forth but for now i'll keep it on until we're out of this lockdown. I think this is the kind of dress that I'm going to go out my first night out with Gemma. I'm going to wear something like this. I like it. With these shoes. Not this bloody wig though. There's actually a zip as well, guys. Now, I didn't, know, I didn't actually know there was a zip. I put it on over my head that way. But if you wanted to, you can pull the zip down that way. Um, I didn't need to it fitted me so perfectly over my head it just slipped on so yeah but you can you, there's a zip if you need to there you go guys it's also got this ruched effect in the breast area 
kind of gathers up together. I like that as well, instead of it just being a straight, straight square or straight, straight round kind of look. But yeah, I like that. I like the ruched look and I like the buckle detail. And I like the bass detail. I just like this dress in general. So Necessary Evil, Kate's clothing, thumbs up for me. It's very, very good. Now, when I do eventually wear these two items, I'll probably come back and tell you how they wash. So far, these have ironed perfectly. I ironed on the cotton um, in, in the middle, in between, not too hot because I was scared of it sticking. They both ironed perfect, no quarrels. But we'll see how they wash, we'll see how they dry, and then I'll come back and tell you after they've had a few washes. But so far, so good. Thank you for that. Take care, everybody. Don't forget to um, comment down below. Hit the notification bell if you want to see more of these videos. I don't do lots and lots of the Kate's clothing, but when she does the deal, I always jump on something. If not two items or four, it's round right about that time. <laughs> All right, guys, take care of yourself, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. I don't want to take it off.